I, I think Fairfax Collegiate has a formula that works. The predominantly college age instructors um, inspire the kids and they're close enough in age where I think the children, the students can sort of identify with their instructors. The convenience of it, the facility, um, the consistency in the program, it all works and it's just a very nice package. Fairfax Collegiate likes to maintain a really good student-teacher ratio and I think that's really important so that the kids always have a teacher there to help them when they need it. Their questions are always answered and also just the courses that we offer. We're always trying to find new exciting courses for students to try out and almost every year we are introducing new courses that students are able to take and they're really interesting and fun. The wide variety of the programs we have here, like robotics, digital photography, math strength training, essay writing, and creative writing, and a lot more. In a fun way, it teaches you a lot. So if you want to have fun and learn a lot, come here. Some of the classes are a lot of fun. Some of them are more, you know, hey, I'm going to get to make a video, or hey, I'm going to get to, you know, build robotics and, and maybe that's not so much something they'd use in school and you know the K through 8 learning but it teaches them life skills I think. It really is presented in a way that it's it's very fun for them. The writing of the scripts and the creating of the final projects the whether it's on the computer or some of the photography so they're really learning um, but they're really having a good time while they're doing it. It has some fun classes, like it has video and photo, but it also has academic coursework too, like mastering training or SAT classes, so it kind of incorporates both, and it's divided into morning and afternoon, so let's say the kids take a serious class in the morning, well, they can have a little bit of fun in the afternoon. Also, it's very individualized. There are smaller classes so that the teachers can give more attention to each kid. The teacher does a really good job of identifying what the student's weaknesses are, um, what they need help in, concepts that they might not be grasping, and they're able to identify those and give good student instruction and then reevaluate them at the end of the class to see if they've mastered those. It's not just learning math, it's not just learning English, it's learning a particular way to approach the test and to approach the problem. It's almost a skill in and of itself, taking the test. Throughout the class, they start learning the problems they missed, they see the mistakes they made, and a problem they couldn't solve yesterday, they can solve today. And by the end of the class, when their scores have improved, it's somewhat rewarding to see you know, that the work they've put in has really paid off and that you know, they are now more prepared. There definitely have been kids who I just re realized over the course of me teaching, whether it's just responding to certain teachers, responding to the material better, that they just come out uh, much more excited over you know learning the material that we're going through with them and just feeling more confident and that you know that makes the whole thing worth it whether you know whether whether or not you know they end up performing way better it just the enthusiasm improves and that's what I feel is most important. We've got people that really want to teach um, children they love working with children they may not have um, 25 years of classroom experience but they have a lot of different teaching and tutoring experiences, plus their academic background is really stellar and they're you know, very mature um, and able to work in a somewhat demanding type of job for a short period of time. As a parent, I'll have to say that I liked uh, coming to the program because I noticed all of the teachers had a very good background in, um, in education or an interest in education, uh, but they were all qualified based on their various the curriculums that they, they were teaching. They had a background in that, so I appreciated that the director took time to, to put together a good staff of people that were committed to um, the subject matters. And, um, and as a parent, we're always looking for something enriching over the summer, so it's nice to see that there are gifted programs for, um, for children in Fairfax County. We try to like let kids come up with their own ideas and build projects in that direction. We try to give them the tools they need to build those. Like We don't tell them, okay, this is your project and it's got no relevance to them at all. So I think this is the kind of thing where kids can go learn something useful and have fun doing it at the same time. They were able to build on everything he already knew, which right there, that was surprising because he knew, he knew quite a lot going in. And the, and the instructors were able to move with him and take him to new places to explore. Um, and the subject matter was extremely interesting. The minute he walked in, 
the door from, from camp. I had never seen him so lit up and so excited about doing a program before. And he immediately went to the computer. He couldn't wait to show me everything he'd learned. And, and that was totally new. I hadn't seen that for a while. It was far greater than I expected because I learned how to use every control that the, that Scratch Computing had. I took a creative writing class and I felt it really prepared me for what was to come in fourth grade when I started. And I felt that I'd already learned some of the stuff that I was learning in school, which was really cool and I really appreciated it. I'm really interested in getting them to understand the different levels that there are to books. Like, there are the words on the page, but there's also, you know, the meaning you bring to it and the meaning the author is trying to give to you. So that's one thing that gets me really excited about teaching that class, is like trying to show this different level of books that kids may kind of know about or have heard about, but aren't really trained to find themselves yet. I've looked at things that are much more expensive. I've looked at things that are much less expensive. And I think it's, um, well within uh, most working couples range to be able to afford and I definitely feel that the um, cost is worth it. You know when a kid comes out of the summer just having really been refreshed and lit up and found something they love and um, they're enthusiastic about then you know it really makes a difference all the way around the school year everything socially it's, it just really puts a kind of a cherry on the, sun, on the Sunday of summer. <laughs>